with you once again in the Mask Fan Attic where we look for cool old masks and uh, well there are always always interesting things to be found in an attic. All kinds of interesting weird things and sometimes some not so interesting things. Case in point this this package of disposable plastic cups and this is not um, a joke this is not me making a funny product label for, for a gag or something this is the actual this was purchased at uh, Kroger's it says here Check it out. These are disposable plastic cups called Nice N Elegant. See the name of them? Nice N Elegant. You see the N in the middle there? Disposable plastic cups. Nice and Elegant. Really, Kroger's? What? Because there's nothing that screams elegance more than disposable plastic cups. And if there is anything that does, it's the use of N. Anyway, we're here for masks, and I just happen to have a pretty sweet one produced by Rubies uh, from 2004. It's the Van Helsing Wolfman, by which I mean the Wolfman from the movie Van Helsing, which came out in 2004. Now, this looks more like like what most people would consider werewolf rather than Wolfman, but the name of the mask was officially Wolfman because the character in the movie was referred to as Wolfman, and he looked rather like this, with this kind of, you know, uh, dog-looking head rather than the humanoid, hairy face uh, classic Wolfman. But, um, well, you gotta feel sorry for the guy that played the Wolfman in Van Helsing because I think he was supposed to be a major player, but um, the way the, the final cut ended up, I think most of his work ended up uh, removed, and you really didn't get much out of him one way or another, but I think he was originally supposed to be much more important to the story and have a full character arc and everything going on, but we didn't get to see most of that. Uh, werewolfery, lycanthropy, werewolfism was important to the plot, but the character they actually called the Wolfman didn't, wasn't in it that much and didn't have that much to do. But anyway, uh, if you saw the uh, if you saw the catalog uh, ads for this mask in uh, 2004, 2005, 2006, in there, you would have seen pictures of an entirely different sculpture. The one that they showed had a, a more uh, human-shaped head, it had big eyes, a different uh, shaped muzzle, it was just an entirely different sculpt. I don't know what happened between uh, that sculpture and this fine, uh, final product, uh, but um, I think this is better. I think this looks more realistic and cooler. And uh, the nice thing about the Van Helsing Wolfman, or Werewolf, is uh, it sold for around 45 bucks. This is kind of a lot of mask for 45 bucks, you know, it's a good deal and very nicely uh, painted with glossy teeth and gums and a shiny nose and I didn't uh, repaint this or anything this is straight out of the, the package from uh, Ruby's Costumes. Now one problem with Ruby's products is they're, they're very cheap when it comes to shipping and they will smash six dozen masks into something the size of your shoe to save on postage uh, costs. So when you get Ruby's masks, they tend to be squished up and you want to stuff them with paper or plastic shopping bags from Kroger's, like I have done here, to uh, get this guy back in shape. Now, uh, another interesting thing about this mask, if you were to paint it brown or put brown hair on it, it would look an awful lot like the werewolves from the 80s TV series, Werewolf. If anybody uh, still alive that remembers that series. It was a weekly uh, half hour long series in the 80s. Look it up. The werewolves looked a lot like this, only they were brown rather than gray. Um, nice full head mask. Again, this one's a little lumpy because uh, I'm, I'm holding it on my hand here. I'll, I'll stuff it better later and it'll look fine, really. Uh, I think it's well worth picking one up. And just to give you an idea of what it can look like if you're into customization and you like putting uh, hair on masks that have sculpt sculpted hair. I will just pull one up here, which my wife, Laura, glued hair on to show you what it can look like. Okay? Now, if you hair the thing with, uh, with uh, glued on crepe hair, this is, um, this is just crepe hair. Uh, I believe she mixed it darker around the eyes and lighter other places, but it's just crepe hair. Glued all over it, traditional mask hairstyle. And uh, you can see how different it could look with hair glued on. I'm running out of room here. But uh, that's that's uh, that's pretty much the size of it. Um, with my hair off, with my hair on. You see how that works? Two werewolves, no waiting. So I uh, just wanted to point that out. If you're into customization, here's kind of uh, the, the thing you can 
do with it if you glue hair on it. I'm about to drop it down a flight of stairs, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call it quits before I drop this mask, which is on a big jar painted black down a flight of stairs. Good night. Thanks for watching. Look for werewolves and look for me here again in the attic next week. Thank you.